for for things to happen. I don't know why I have this heater. Let me let me move this out. Hello. 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 Oh yes, I forgot to bring um so yes. Here it is. People have been wanting this to happen. I've been wanting this to happen. We're going to do some bot building. <laughs> I always feel like Ori is watching me. Is Ori watching me? Who knows? I have to uh, fly off towards the ocean of work, but got to give you that lurk. All right. All good, broken. Enjoy that work in the Um, Maybe by the time you come back, hopefully uh, we'll have a we'll have a new buddy. We'll have a new buddy, new friend. All sun related. Your hair looks really cute today. Thank you, thank you. I put clips in them. <laughs> I did things. <laughs> My body is ready. Hello, Kiwi slash Kawaii. You started this Kawaii. Let this be known for those of you that are here, that are supporting me. Thank you so much for the resub, Ori. Fuck. Um, this was definitely like pushed. I mean, Epo definitely started my like interest in building, but like watching Kawaii builds at like 2 a.m. through 6 a.m. my time, uh, just watching her process, I was all like, I want to do this too. I want to, I want to be a part of this. And of course there's emergency cookies always behind me. I think every time I get done with like one large limb, I'm going to, I'm going to, I'm going to eat some cookies. And maybe when I get a better mic, you, you get to hear me crunch about it. Just kidding. I don't think anyone likes to hear them smack. Hey, it's Bone Crammer. Okay, okay. Hi, hello. You love Gundams? Well, here we are. Here we are. We're gonna do entry grade new Gundam. I assume that's what it means. The symbol. I didn't do math or Greek mythology. Just kidding. I don't know what this is, but I think it's new, right? Anywho, never made one, but I like looking at them. Well, we're we're in it. We're in it. Okay. Thank you so much for the follow. Pocket Yeti. Hello, hello. We got a stack of builds behind them cookies. Oh yeah. <laughs> There's like a crap ton of other like kits that are here. And they're gonna be there. This is like this is my backlog. Oh, I have a backlog, everybody. I have backlogs. It's gonna grow. It's gonna grow. <laughs> um Yes, yes, the V Gundam. Hello, hello, Pocket Yeti. Welcome on in. This is gonna be uh, Chuki's first build ever. So before I go all up into it, um, let's look at let's look around here, right? We've got. I already like the fact. There's no tools, no paint, no glue. That's exactly what I've got going on in this board, this work desk. I got nothing for you. All right. Huh. I've seen a very first gun plus stream, so I need to jump in. Oh, you're so supportive. Thank you. I have gotten to know the building community here on Twitch, and they've all been super supportive and very helpful. And um, they were the ones that actually recommended this particular, you know, like entry grade to start off before scaring me off into this, uh, um, you know, this hobby, because I've got others that I want to do. Like, I want to do all of these SD builds. We've got Ale Strike. We've got Wing Gundam. I've got 30 minute missions over here. Um, I believe this model is called Spinatia, um, but I'm going to call it Spinach um, because every time I say it, I'm like Spinatia, Spinatia. And then people are like, are you saying spinach? So we've got spinach assassin type and we've also got reaper type coming in soon. So I can't wait to make these two and play dolls with them. So that's going to be fun. That's going to be fun. Look at my top pile. I'm going to, I'm going to let that spit like that. Actually, let that be a mess. <laughs> I can't wait to see Chuk backlog now. It's going to grow for sure. <laughs> Yes, agreed. Though in my case, I just thrown uh, myself into the build stuff. <laughs> hello, Shonda Falsy. Hello, hello, hello. Okay. Okay. 
so like I said, we're looking at the book, we're looking at the box. Entry model that pursues the simple enjoyment of gunpla. We've got head, body, arms. Ooh, they color coded it. So like red is head, blue is body, green is arms, pink is waist, and purple is legs. And then we've got weapons in orange. It's runner placement makes finding parts easy. Mind you, I literally don't know anything about building yet. So I'm like, I'm just, I want to be thorough, okay? <laughs> I love you here. It's been so long since I've caught a stream. Yeah, 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 yeah. Um, I've been, I've been growing it and I've been constantly keeping it on the lighter end. So yeah, it's been a while. Oh, in case you haven't noticed if this is the same um, setting, I'm back in 707. So if you ever want to hang out, I'm here. I'm saving money. Saving money. Doing the doing the adult thing, I guess. I don't know if you're still in the 707. It might just be me. Hey, Steph. Steph. Sup. So, I'm in the UK, so... <laughs> Bye! <laughs> Bye, Bone Crammer. <laughs> we don't talk about you anymore. <laughs> so long. Uh, howdy, Chook. Welcome to Gunpla in the Land of Snip. Oh, I have nippers. I get to show you my nippers. BRB. Excuse me. I've got one tool. I've got one tool and they're nippers. I got them at Amazon. They're pretty basic, but look at these. They're not god hands, but they are <laughs> excellent. Thank you. Thank you. I'm ready for snip snips, okay? Okay. You know what? No tools are required to assemble this kit. Sweet, sweet. We're gonna snap and fit the snippers. You don't need jaws of life for this. You don't know that. You don't know that. You don't know who I am. That's the thing. People are gonna be all like, this is gonna be like super easy and stuff. And I'm like, oh, watch. When Shuki gets their hands on this, it's gonna be very hard to do. Shuki called this Gundam the spinach ash, ash. Yeah, the spinachia, the spinachia, the spinadia. You remember you have siblings just walk? To their room and stare at them. Hey Eric, spinach. Nippers will pop your builds from looking rough. Um, knew a dude who used nail clippers. Oh, I also have nail clippers. Okay. All right. I've already forgotten everything that I need to do. Do they have like a thingy majiggy? Um, this thing. All right. Cool. 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 So, since this does require some focus. Hopefully it's not that much focus. Um, I will be kind of looking at chat, but for the most part, you just get to watch me struggle um, by myself. Kind of like Nancy Drew. Um, kind of like Nancy Drew. Okay, so thank God. Look, they've got, they've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Nine steps, basically. Okay, we've got this. Yeah, you're gonna watch the struggle bus. That, that is, ignore us while we laugh at you. Exactly, exactly. All right, I've got my music going on. I've got my cookies behind me. I've got my tea, which I found out, ginger actually stains your desk. So I have an ugly yellow like stain on my desk, which is great because of ginger tea. So that's going. I didn't know how my setup was going to be, but I had this fun little thing to look at, and then I realized um, you won't be able to see it, so. There. Take a look at that. <laughs> cool. So we're going to go do with the head. The head is, right? Because it says number one. Number one says head. And if I remember correctly from a box, red is the color red. Head is red. Red is head. Cool. This is like the first time in a long time that I've ever been nervous on stream. Let's be real. I've been doing this for a while with art and I kind of know when I'm... <laughs> Take your time building. Yeah. Let it, let it, let it tell you what to do. Okay. So we've got runners. I'm gonna move you here. I'm gonna open you up. Go 
me a little piece to choke on, I know. Sorry if the sounds are a little too crinkly crackly. Uh, I see that there's stickers noting that. I see you. I see you. So, question. Are these stickers like the one where like they're called water slides where you kind of have to like activate them through like water or some sort? Or can you just like, like sticker it? <laughs> Worry about the stickers last. These feel nice. These feel nice. These feel like solid things. Okay. So. I see like numbers on them. There's like 7, 11, 12, and 13. Those aren't what I'm looking for, am I? Is that what I'm looking for? <laughs> Wait a minute. Is it not? Am I not looking for reds? Wait, 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 wait. Give me a second. Give me a second. So you're looking at like, you're looking for like B1, D1, A17. And that's a C. So we're not doing, okay, so. Already I've made a made a, a, a dire I would say maybe like a bad uh call. Cause like wait right I get so worked up on like color coding, so I'm just all like wait, that's the head, right? Maybe. Oh wait, maybe it's the outline. So it's like here, you want you want that as your head. That's your head. That's also part of the head. Okay, cuz they're not color coded. Why would they ever be color coded? <laughs> I'm learning. I'm learning. Okay. So there's A1. I see A1. I guess your number one thing you would do then is you would cut out the things that would require you to make the head. So like, I will find B, like for example, this, I would find B and then I would nip out B1. I see A2. And I assume the orange is A1, A2, okay, I see B, okay, okay, and I'm just gonna throw this onto the floor, like every cautious builder, right? That's what you do. This is definitely a, a Justin Bieber song. You got something you got something to say about that? Okay, okay, I got you, I got you. So this is a B, and then this is a C. I love how I'm just telling it to people as if like they don't know. I'm just more explaining it to myself. This is a D, sweet. So I want to first get B1. I am I am determined to get B1. Okay. You should go and love yourself. Okay, B1. Aha, 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 aha. Found you. There you go. It's this little one. Hey professor, how are you? Okay. Okay, how do we how do you do this? How do you remove? You just remove. How do you remove? You just remove. You just remove and you build. Oh, okay. Talking it through will help prevent mistakes too. Autopilot brain is dangerous for building things. Use the snippers. I, oh, I don't think, yeah, I think you just twist it. Boom. I'm so strong. I'd cut the parts with the snip sips. Too bad, too bad. I just twisted it like a, like a loose tooth, okay? 
You caught me. You caught me, Apo. You caught me doing one thing. I took out the first part, okay? The seal has been broken. All right? So, helmet has been achieved. I wish I had like a little, um, I'll be back. I know myself where I'm going to probably lose a lot of these pieces. So BRB, I'm going to get some bowls. I'm going to get some bowls. Mama Chook was really nice to give me some bowls. I also wanted to show more of my back vlog as far as I got this cutie. I got the Hello Kitty Gundam, so that's going to happen. Maybe after I do this, but I don't want to go crazy as far as like, I'm going to finish this in one sitting. Maybe. Maybe I will. But who knows? But if we have heck of time left... We'll start with this. We'll do this. And then this was actually my first kit that I bought that I was like, I like this. I like how it looks. I want to build this. Um, but I'm kind of glad that I didn't choose to build this first because looking at the like instruction manual, it's not in English. So I feel like Maybe if I have better experience, like, you know, like, if I get more of my bearings here, I might be able to tackle this a lot better. So we'll see. We'll see how this one goes. But I think I might need more tools for this one. So we'll wait. We'll wait on that one. <laughs> they just reviewed, um, oh, fudge. What was that? Oh, it's Hello Kitty. Sorry. Um, they revealed the Miku version. And, oh, that's really cute. Okay, so we're gonna have a bowl for the head. So that's that's one. That's that's the helmet. So B one is good. Now I need D one. And here it's the only D we've got. So. Uh, twist, twist, twist. <laughs> I'm like, oh, thank you so much for the follow, Amando. Okay, done. <laughs> Boom, putting you in here. Maybe Ziplocs would be safer? Maybe for what? Oh, hi there. I think it's safe to say. What does that mean? On the runners, they have like these dials. What does that mean? Are you prepared for the con in 12 days? Why did you ask it like that, Eric? I don't know now. The way that you just put it into numbers like that, I don't know. Ruin a few Gundams before tackling the cute ones. <laughs> Good idea. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Do the entry grade ones and then like kind of mess them up and then figure it yourself out. You can label the Ziplocs with letters and close it. That's true. That's true. Maybe I'll do that when I have... I'm going to go and do a lot of mistakes on this one. I'm going to be real with myself. So we got D1. Now I want A17. So this is A1. Seven. Okay. What 
is this part? Is this like its jaw? Huh. We'll see. That symbol means this much of your life clock ticks away as you figure out how to use this piece. Probably. All right, B8. B8. And it's already pretty loose. All right, there you go. Just like that, a little bit of a, a wiggle. A wiggle and a wiggle. Okay, so let's, I've got all one, two, three, four. We've got four pieces, correct. Now we're gonna put them all together. So let's get this doohickey. Okay, so it's like up like this, and then this jaw bit. Sorry, if you're not able to see this, I'm like figuring myself out. Okay. Uh-huh, uh-huh, uh-huh. Okay. How do you know it doesn't go? Okay, it does. Okay. I'm all like, it fits better here. The doohickey. The doohickey belongs in the other doohickey. Okay. And I'm going to look at the picture to make sure that... I think that's fine. That's fine. This is fine. Okay. And then B8 is the lower jaw. Okay. Okay. We've made a little, little head, a little head, a little jaw. Actually, this is the bottom part. Did I find the face? Did I ever? Oh, that's the face. That's the eyeballs. Oh, okay. And so you put B1 over it. We'll see. We'll see if I can do that. Okay, okay. Ooh! I did it. Look at this head. Look at that head. Are you proud of me? Do I get a cookie because I made a head? I didn't finish it. Let, let, let's finish this head and then we'll get a cookie. Okay? <laughs> we'll get a cookie after we finish it. So we need A18 and A13. I can see this being super fun to do with like kids at the youth center or like, you know, I wouldn't say daycare, but like definitely... I, if, if I worked at the daycare center or the youth center again, I would totally be like, everyone, we're doing kits. We're building stuff. What is the red part? A tongue? You know what? I think that's a very strong goatee. You know? A very strong goatee. I'm actually really um, impressed with this camera. Um, this one, I actually got this camera back in 2012 and it's, it's like the size of a little like laser. Hello, Arizona Coyotes fan. Hi. Hello. Okay. A18. A18. This track is a banger. A one eight. It's this tiny little thing. Are you sure? Slowly remove each part. Okay. <laughs> Heads up. This is the seat. Okay. It's this one. Okay. It's basically like a nub. All right, so A18 gone. A13. Oh, the, this very delicate looking thing. T 
tea, Earl Grey hot. Oh, yeah, be sure to drink your tea or else it will, um, it will not be warm anymore. I figured, I figured you, I figured, like, builders watching me, like, numbly try to take things out, it's gonna make them really nervous. I'm like, trust, trust the process. It's gonna be okay. I promise you. I trust my, um, my finger dexterity. I know that I won't at least, like, well, maybe. I, I actually don't want to, like, curse myself. Watch. I'm going to, like, absolutely crush another piece. And I'll be like, well, I don't know what I'm saying. I don't know what I'm saying. I don't know what I'm doing then. Too strong, my crush. Nothing is more trustworthy than cheeky fingers. It's true. All right. I know. I feel like I've said this many times, but I'm a uncertified massage therapist now, and these fingies know how to do pressure <laughs> and not pressure. Y'all, y'all, I made a head. I made a head for my baby. Now I'm done with this build. Now I get to, s I'm done, I'm done, done. It's beautiful, it's great. You did it. <laughs> okay, so you know what's sad is, oh, did I eat it? Oh, I think I ate it, so I can't even show it to you. It's that part where you, like, you pick up the cookie, and then it's crumbled, so you only get, like, a piece of it. But I think these ones are all fine now. Okay. I think I ate all the, the remains. There used to be, like, a huge crumble corner. But, yeah, um, eat your cookie. Head done. Did anybody have this growing up, or is it just me? I remember I had one that was like blue that had like polar bears and penguins on it. I like to stare at this when I'm in Zoom meetings. <laughs> Office dash toys somehow make it into my childhood toys when I stole them from my- Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> this is mine now. Alright, sweet. Cookie done, head done. Let's go, body. Let's go. All right. I'm going to put you in the finished in the finished bowl. There's a finished bowl. <laughs> I promise I'll have a better setup eventually. How is the new old job? The new old job's doing good. Um this is the first week where I'm actually putting my foot down with boundaries and saying like nope, after a certain time of the day, I'm not taking any um meetings, I'm not taking any calls, I'm not looking at your emails. I'm not doing shit until the next day because I'm part-time and I'm someone who tends to overwork or like will try to get everything done. Um, basically, I, I just do a lot more than what I'm actually paid for. So I feel already on a Monday, like I feel great because I finally was like, hey, last week I went over an hours, which is fine because I'm being paid hourly. But I want to give you a heads up that I don't want to continue doing that. I want to keep it at this time that we've agreed and any time after that, I'd like to keep it with my, like, art stream, my, like, what I want to do. So, good on Chuki for setting those boundaries. 
I had one that had a bunch of bubbles in it and little plastic fish and they would bob up and down when the bubbles went by. Yes. Yes. Do you all remember like that, that squishy, like, it's basically like a tube and it has like the, this in it and probably like fish or like those little charms, but like no matter how much you like squeeze it, it would like, I don't know, it would like eat itself. I don't know how you call it, but yes, those ones, the squishy tubes. I was way into them. Um, I'm sure seeing like a five-year-old doing that is fine, but like as a grown adult, you probably shouldn't be like just, <laughs> you shouldn't be like just aggressively squeezing tubes just out of like, this feels fine. This feels great. This feels therapeutic. So, um, <laughs> I just think about them fondly. <laughs> they just slip through your hands forever. It's the hamster wheel for humans. The balloon hot dog. Ah, uh, the balloon glizzy. I love that you, uh, love that for you, Chuka. Set those boundaries. Exactly. Set those boundaries. Okay. I want to spend my afternoon building Gundam. Okay. I don't want to do Zoom. It's sensory seeking behavior and it's nothing to be ashamed of. Yeah, totally. Um, I have now embraced my need to like need to twiddle and like have things with my hands busy. So I have them all over my desk, which is helpful for me. Um, yeah, I had a five dollar glossy the other day. It wasn't worth. Oh, I'm sorry to hear that, Eric. All right, body. Tightly fit the parts as far as they will go. Okay. Good enough. Good enough for me. Okay. C4. Let's find the C sheet. So I'm starting to understand why I see Kawaii and Ipo. They have like their nifty, um, like tape. And then they like very obviously says the letter. So this would be A1. And then this is the C that I'm looking for. Because it's kind of like, it's hard for me to figure out. If I'm not looking at it, um, I have to go through all of them, you know? It was from Portillo's? Oh my god, you didn't have a good hot dog at Portillo's? I love their hot dogs and I love their chilies. I'm sorry. Maybe you went to a really bad Portillo. You know what helps keeps those fingies busy at Kalimba? Yeah, Clancy Clackamas is definitely a remedy for my fingies. All right. C4. We're at C4. Making sure we're in C. Making sure that's four. Making sure that looks like four. Okay. How many of you, when you started, like, building, like, well, it probably doesn't matter, I guess, if you, like, I don't know how people's processes are. Do they, do you prefer to, like, take out the parts um, individually as you go from the runners or do you tend to like take all of them off and then put them somewhere and say this is the C like parts I think that's insane I think that's for me I'm all like if you took out all of this and put them in a container I'd be like well which one's C8 and which one's C12 you know uh I'm an as I go person okay okay it was a normal glizzy with chili and cheese. I thought it'd be seasoned or flavored or something. It's easier to label them with tape because they're so hard to find. Yeah. Some people take them all out, but I just do it one step at a time. I take them as I go um, so I know which one's which. Exactly. I mean, I'm the same way. Like, I'm sure there are, I mean, I've seen like perfect grades where they have so many pieces and I'm all like, I can't, I can't keep track of all of that. All right. So we got C4. And then B18, I love this song. I'm gonna put you up here. This is B. All right, so this is B18. B18. Confirming my work, double checking my work, making sure that you see this. Okay, we have receipts. You caught me. You caught me in 4K. <laughs> okay, this is B18. And then B19. Oh! 
Oh no. Calm down. Calm down. What is this? B20? Okay, so note to self. I need a nurse. Stat. <laughs> I've accidentally dislocated one of them already. As far as like, I should not be touching that. So noted. I'm going to keep... What's this? I'm going to keep B out so it doesn't wiggle too much in the box. Okay. Okay, so that was B19. Okay, so I can I can assemble these. Okay. I'm going to put you over here. Okay, good, 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 good. All right, so. I keep looking at this one. Don't look at that. Don't look at that. So this is B18, and then we have this doohickey, okay, uh-huh, uh-huh, <laughs> that makes sense, I guess. Okay. That's a pretty nice fit. It's a nice fit. It's got the two holes in front. Okay. Nineteen. B nineteen looks down. And then you go over because this is gonna fit on top of this. Okay. Right? Question mark? Does that make sense? That makes sense, right? How do I know if it's okay? Because it's the collar. Right? Yeah. I mean, if you made the wrong move, you could always take it off. How do you know when you're jamming it too hard, you know? Especially if it's like a ball joint, you know? I don't want to break you. I know it should look like, should look like that once we're done. Sometimes it needs a little oomph. Okay, okay. I can give it some oomph. I'm scared to give it any oomph, actually. Oh, I did it. Oh, I broke a nail. All right. Well, I did it. It's it's in there. Oh, it's in there. Okay. Cool. You'll know if it fits right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Sweet. Okay, so we made the bottom part of the torso. So let's make the top part. Okay, A19. A19. Nine is this big one. How was your dinner? What'd you have for dinner, Evo? Wiggle, 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 fried chicken, nice. Wiggle, wiggle, wiggle. <laughs> hey, Mad, what's up? There you go. Booyah. Okay, so this was A19, A110. We're building stuff. All right, sweet. Okay. A9, say hello to A10. 
使好啊。A10. What a satisfying little click. Okay, we made the big old face of the the for the, the front of the torso. And now we're gonna put it on top of the bottom one. And I see some slats, and they kind of slide into it. I might be, I might be presumptuous. Is it a slide or is it a pop? Hmm. Okay. It's like kind of a slide. Okay. Okay. All right. Sweet, we made some of the torso, so we need C3. Okay. Have you been mad? C3, B14. That looks right. Been okay, been better. I feel it. Okay is good. Oh, well, we lost it. It's forever gone. Goodbye, B14. Okay. So we've got the torso, and now we gotta put this neck piece, this chest piece, I'm assuming. I owe 600 by the end of the month or I'm getting kicked out and you'll never see me again. So that's sick. What? I'm sorry to hear that, Mad. What's going on? I thought like, huh. I thought you've been like donating your plasma and, and, and all those, all those things. How's the job search? Did you find any, any luck? Okay. Okay. The yeet piece. You can't yeet away from me. Eh. You should be like me and go and live back to Mama and Papa Chook's house and then save hecka money by doing chores and labor. Uh, no jobs with me yet and I haven't went back for plasma yet because my arm has been in pain since last time I went three weeks. Oh yeah, you are living in <laughs> Oh, uh, <laughs> getting kicked out of that house. Okay, so Mad, you are more progressed into this uh, storyline that I will probably be um, living soon. I see hands. Hello, Mochi. So let me show you what I've made. I've made a brand new head. Look at that. It's my precious little baby head. And now we're working on baby's little torso. And I also made a rule that every time I finish a major piece of a build, I get to reward myself with a cookie. Because who else needs more motivation to do fun things? And then they jam that in there. How have you been? I heard, I heard Jose Mochi does car commercials in Japan. That, that's how cool they are. How about a cookie and 10 soup? No! No! How dare you ask me to do any physical representation of my own body's worth, Super Duck? How dare you? But let me show you what I've done. I made a head and I made a little torso. Ooh. And look at my setup. This is made from a janky camera. I'm so proud of it. It's working so good. It's working so good for me. All right. Okay, let's not mix, let's not skip tests. Okay, so A111, okay. So for those of you that don't know, yes, it was Ipo Dempsey, roll, Ipo Dempsey roll that is what got me into building and Kawaii builds is what 
got me to just make up that firm confirmation that I want to do builds. But uh, Super Ducky is actually like my mentor in IRL. Uh, they're the ones that have like the god hand tools and like all of the cool things and like perfect grade builds and stuff. So uh, I will lean heavily on Super Duck when it comes to uh, doing more builds. And hello, Ori. You're finally out of work. Hello, welcome, welcome. How was your Monday? All right, we're looking for A111. A111, what be you? Lies. Super Ducks got some pretty amazing, like, builds in their backlog that I cannot wait for them to fit, get it started, get it done so I can play with them. Just kidding. I wouldn't dare. I wouldn't touch them. They're babies. A111. A111. It's this little guy. This little guy. Glad it's over. Yep. One day down. Four more to go. Okay, ever so gently. Why can't most builds just be like, like kind of like this, where you just don't need tools, where you could just pop things off and be like, yeah. All right, so we're gonna get this torso. And then we're gonna move you, like so, into this cavity. It takes a village to raise a new gunpla builder. It really does. I'm gonna do a smelly lurk. All right, enjoy your stinky lurk, Mad. I hope things are gonna look up for you in the future. I uh, wouldn't hate to have your parents kick you out of your house, your room, your home. But yes, I appreciate each and every one of you for not only making me feel very welcome, but also like I feel like I'm in very good hands when building things in where if I had a question, um, somebody is just a discord ping away and we need to help grow Chook's backlog and tools. Yes, yes, because all I have is this as a nipper which I don't think I'm going to be using today, but it's nice to have. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. So, ooh, kawaii. Thank you so much for the sub. Enjoy the emotes. Yes. You can now chook bop with the best of them. I finally get chook votes. Yeah. Join the chook crew. The chook coop. Welcome on in. We've been waiting for you. We've had a seat all warm and toasty just for kawaii. A1, 1, and 2. Oh, these little headlights. Okay. Um... All right, all right, I'll play with this. All right. Awesome. Get you out ever so gently and delicately. Remember to drink your tea because I'm already forgetting that I have tea. Ooh, spicy tea. I got like ginger and like all the probiotic ones and very, it's very spice like. Okay. So these are like, <laughs> these are my baby's nipples. Oh, my little headlights, my little baby knit headlights. Okay. Okay. One headlight. Wait, actually, ah, oh, shoot. I, I kind of regret putting you in. Ah, ah, I regret, I regret. So my question is, as you can see, there's like a little tab here. There's a little tab right there. And I don't like that. I don't like that. And I think it's a butt to get out. Okay, well, I guess you're just gonna be a part of that, I guess. 
I'm just gonna try to scratch it off. But you know what I'm talking about though, right? There's like that little hangnail that's going on in here. And um, does the other piece have the same thing? It kind of does, but it's thought. I'm just scratching it. <laughs> Use the nippers. I mean, it kind of works. My nippers are a little bit uh, fat. Chook needs some sandpaper. I need cat's tongues. Stat. I need to borrow your cat's tongues. I, I can't even get this out. How does one even, like, if, if you, you can't, there's no going back, is there? You know, once it's in there. Um, ooh, you know what? I have nail clippers. Maybe it has those little emery thingies. Let's see. Let's do a janky build with some janky tools. So, are we, like, talking about this? Watch, people are gonna be like, no, that's not what we meant. It looks kind of like a sand, like an emery board file thing. I just want you out, though. God, you're so thick. Never mind, you won't do. That'll work in a pinch. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> I can see Super Duck watching me now and just being all like, you poor child. This is what you've made me do. Oh my gosh. Okay, wait. Okay. That kind of that works. Okay. At least this one's going to be good. This one, get your nails did. Yeah, I, I starts a tool fund for you. <laughs> What's funny is like I'm sure I have these tools in like the garage. I mean, I've done prop making for cosplays, so it's like, it's not that I'm without tools, it's just, God, it's been a while, huh. I mean, you at least have nails, it's true. I'll just, like, scratch it. But I can see it. Look at that, look at that, I hate it. My baby is not going to be perfect. Why not this is... Yeah, so that's what I'm trying to do. Um, I don't know how to get it out. I've, I've been trying my hardest with my nails, and it's uh, it's proving to be not, not a thing. <laughs> no, take the dark blue. Oh, I have X-Acto knife. For shanking. Okay. I'm so glad I have these weird tools just lying around. No, take the dark blue stuff. Oh, okay, okay. I'm I'm scared to Ah. Oh, no. Thank you. Thank you, kissy poo, kissy poo. I will use that for proper tools that Super Duck is going to probably recommend for me. Okay. Okay. I have an X-Acto knife. And I have it really near my fingers. Oh, wait. I could just do that, right? Right, right, right? I could just use that to, to slice off. Right? Oh, oh, ooh, 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 ooh. I think I like that. That's fine. Okay, okay, okay. 
Okay. Okay. Thanks, Acto Knife. You're like my best friend. Oh, okay. Okay. Settle down, Exacto Knife. I see you. Okay. All right, my best friend. Let's clean up some of these edges already. Because <laughs> I see some, like, little, like, nubs, as you see on, like, this left one. So I just, yeah, okay, okay. All right. Ah, uh, yes. Good. Excellent. Yes. Nice. 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 Okay. So these are my tools to trade, everybody. It's an X-Acto knife, a toenail clipper, and some really thick nippers for today. You can clean a nubbage before assembly. Yeah, I figured. I've seen that done before, too. Um, I just wasn't expecting to see it with uh, an entry grade. I don't know why. I just thought they were like, oh, we're going to make this super clean. Um, it's still super clean. Don't get me wrong. It will be easier. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then I'm sure I could like sand this to smooth it. I just wanted to Watch, I can feel like Epo's all like, no, don't do it like that. <laughs> it's okay, it's okay. This is my first build. <laughs> okay. All right, so we got we've got the pasties on. We've got some some primo headlights on the pecs. Well, I feel like we're almost getting there with the body. All right, so I'm going to put you in here, and then we're going to go to A1, A120. Pasties! What am I hearing? Hello, Eric. You're hearing pasties. Okay, so, like, for this, for example, we can, like, go in with our lovely little nail file and, like smooth out any any anything so a120 a one As long as I don't know where it was, like, attached to with the runners, I'm pretty, pretty good with it. This one doesn't have any of those, like, hangnails. All right. So, A20, A18. This is 19. It's got the little pistons. Okay. 20. 20. You go in. Hmm. 
It looks like we're making like a like a backpack, like a little Okay. 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 Oh yeah, I forget. The, the lighting of this gets a little weird when we get into the afternoon. So let's see. Let's see if I can provide some more lightage for you. First, let's find out where the cord belongs. I don't see it. Ooh. You go here. You go here. One day. One day I'll have overhead lighting and whatnot. This will be good. This will be good. All right. Sweet. Sweet. Now we go into more detail. We've got A117, B, C, A1. So we just made a little little port cap. It's cute. And then you just put it in there. Boop. And then you put it in ba 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 da ba 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 ba. Okay, and then you put it on here. Cool. I assume that this gets sanded down. Like there's like a little like snag, like a hole, like a little bit of like a belly button. I assume with like the right kind of sandpaper file, you can like smooth that down, yeah? Yeah. A117. Uh, 
Okay, so I'm staring it like this. This goes with the pegs up. Ta -da! Do, 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 do. Ooh, there's a lot of little pieces. Don't bang me on this, but there's gonna be a lot of details in here. Alright, let's do the 12 and the 13s. They look like they don't need all the work with the 6 and the 4. So, yeah, B12, B13. B12. This is a C. B12. Oh. Hey, shift. Hello, hello. It's not cookie break yet. Cookie break was when we go into arms. We're not there yet. We're almost there, okay? Discipline. Discipline, everybody. I love this song so much. Okay. Hey, shift. We're building. We're building bots. I'm building my first baby. My first baby. Nice to see you streaming again. Yeah, me too. I'm happy to be back. Gundam is life. Gundam is freedom. <laughs> Comply is freedom. <laughs> Yeah, for those of you that don't know, Haying Shift is an amazing artist. Uh, I love their their line work, their inking, their artwork. Uh, yeah, I think mostly they do uh, line work, and I've seen them do like mecha art with like robots and mechs, and it's so much detail, so much loveliness. Do check them out. Um, and I do know that also they're doing like a, a sale. They're doing a sale that doesn't happen often since I know they only do like, they only sell like through commissions. So for them to have like an actual like print promo going on, that's very rare. So this is your first Gunpla or just your first stream or of Gunpla? Hey Tengu, it's actually, yes, this is my absolute first of everything. So I've never built um, Gunpla. And this is also my first, uh, uh, my first stream about it. So all of it, all of it, all of the firsts, just going head first in. If you love the new Gundam, I recommend the, um, RG new Gundam after you build up some experience. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Real grade. So remind me again, the like levels of like grades. So there's entry grade. Is it high grade and then real grade? And then I'm just making up words, master grade and then perfect grade. <laughs> They're all originals and yes, very rare sale, usually only commissions. Definitely. Yes. Get your very rare, very all, all original work by Hey Ink Shift. Okay, so entry grade, then high grade, then real grade. They're all the same grade, but real grade is as complicated, uh, as, complicated as MG or PG. Okay. Hey, I got it. Yay. <laughs> uh, 
Um, e, G, H, G, R, G are like one and one forty fourth scale, whereas like uh, master grade and higher are basically like one one hundredth. Perfect grade is one and sixtieth. Okay, and then perfect grade. Hello, Kave. Hello. Real grade, great. <laughs> I feel like I didn't nudge you correctly. Maybe if I just, yeah, brute force you in there a little bit better. Okay, so we got that one. Let's go find A16 and A114. A1, A1, A1. A16. P Bandai is just a way of life. <laughs> I spent over a thousand dollars on Gunpla last year. Yes, Tangu, I'm for it. Your hair looks excellent. So long. Maybe I just haven't seen your face in forever. It's true. My hair has grown and I'm going to continue growing it for the wedding. I like um, high grades because it's uh, if I customize them and mess up, it's no major loss. But master grade is where it's my um, is my opinion for the best quality. OK, especially if you're into rare kits. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Kawaii. I feel like you're into those uh those rare kits. Every time I see what Kawaii is building on, I'm all like, oh, where do you get that? It's cool. No hair extensions from me. No. I'm gonna be quote unquote all natural. <laughs> Mostly Zeta Gundam stuff. Okay. I imported like a dozen kits from um Japan and I couldn't find in stock anywhere. Wow. That's insane. That's uh you know, but it's a lovely hobby. It's a lovely thing to get into. Um, so I am, I'm there with you. If I had more experience, I could probably. So, okay. I see A16. I just took out. A114. I will take out. What is this two? Two is a diamond. Oh, 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 oh. I'm reading things. Okay. Follow the numerical order. One, two. Okay. 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 So first put this in there, then put that in there. I'm very proud of myself for like learning that. You don't know how hard it is for me to like look at instructions. Oh, thank you so much for the follow, Kave. <laughs> She's I know. Okay, so Super Duck has known me since I was born. And so for them to just straight up be like, she's reading and she's paying attention to instructions and like the symbols, that's a big improvement since the day I was born. <laughs> because I wasn't doing that. I think we're all proud of you too. Thank you. <laughs> and the fact that I was like, what does this symbol mean? Nancy Drew. Enjoy the emotes, Okabe. Oh, thank you. Thank you so much. <laughs> Everyone's like giving me like a mental cookie every time I figure out, oh, oh, this means something. <laughs> Y'all. Y'all are too kind. Y'all are too nice to me. <laughs> Does Super Duck know all of the random facts about you and Papa Chu? Probably that and more. Um, Super Duck probably knows a lot more secrets than I care to um divulge, and that's 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 we're gonna die with it. We're gonna die in our grave with all of these secrets that we have, and that's how it goes. I need some G Witch from Mer Mercury Kits. Ooh, yeah, I've checked out the Mercury kits. Um, they're pretty sweet. I I'm looking at the Ariel. I'm looking at the Ariel. Ariel looks good. <laughs> All right, random fact about me number eighty eight. All right, I did not actually have this ready. Oh, I'm such a noob. Let's go pull up my random facts about me, number 88. Let's see. Number 88 is 
Oh, yeah. So this is like a little mini story. So random fact about me, um, in high school, in art class, my friend wanted to prove that the art teacher was biased towards me. So we decided to swap our like assignments, our sketches, and turn them in as our own. And then the art teacher still gave me a higher grade than that student, even though I turned in like her work. So it is very much a confirmed, caught in 4K, <laughs> that this art teacher definitely liked me a lot more than my poor um, friend slash classmate. So that was that was a weird thing that I've I was like, ooh, we're going to be so sneaky turning in your work and my work as different people. And yet we were like, she was so sure that she was going to go like a worse, like a not as good of a grade, even though she turned in my work. <laughs> what is y'all's favorite Gundam and or non-Gundam Molosu? Ooh, I can't wait to see what everyone else says. I'm new. I'm new. I haven't watched the anime. I don't think I plan on. I just like looking at all of y'all's, uh, all the kits. Death Scythe is my favorite Gundam suit. Okay. Chonky boys and mono eyes. <laughs> yeah. Okay. So like, like types. Okay. I like wings. I like my Gundams with like the wings. So like zero. Um, where are you? I mean, I don't, and that's a hard on fact. Um, I mean, this one, it's like, it's bubbly. I like the colors. Super cute. Super cute. Um, but if I had to be honest, oh, bacon. Yes, this one. Um, Wing Gundam Zero uh, is kind of like my favorite like Gundam style. I mean, I know this is the SD one, but I've seen it in other grades and I'm all like, it's pretty, it's pretty epic. It's pretty extra. If, if your Gundam can look extra as ever, yeah, that's for me. I like that. <laughs> Wing Gundam is cool, but the pilot needs therapy. Oh, well, don't we all? <laughs> Hero just needed a hug. Okay, so A114. Where are we, A1? This little thing. Little thing. All right, and then we just put it like so. What a nice little detail, which I'm going to kind of clean up. Maybe a medicated hug. There is a P Bandai MG I wanted called the Tall Geese Flugel, which is the Tall Geese, but with, what? What? Duck, does that, is that, is that, oh, okay. I think I like the, all of that together. I like Tall Geese. I showed you that one. I have it. Oh, oh, really? I don't know. Maybe the way that Tengu is describing it, I'm like, that sounds amazing. One sec. I'll take a pic. Okay. Okay. Because I ordered a tall geese and I'm hoping to custom make it into, and I'm, I'm sure people have seen it with like the, the untitled goose game. So it's got the head <laughs> of the goose. Yeah, 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 yeah. Let's look at it. Let's look at it. Let's look at it. Let's look at it. Oh, it's beautiful. It is. Oh, yes. Yes. Duck. Ducky, ducky, ducky. You totally have showed me this. Look at this massive unit. Oh, it's beautiful. Oh, my God. Oh, that's going to go in my wish list. <laughs> I very badly want this thing. I don't blame you. I want it now, too. Look what you've all done. Look at what you've all done. Look at what you've awakened in me that I didn't know was deep within me. How dare you all? How dare you all? It is a beautiful kit. <laughs> a fellow Toggy said, I approve. <laughs> like I said, P Bandai is just a way of life. <laughs> just don't overpay for it. Okay. I will trust Ducky to um, keep me in check with pricing. I'm sure they're going to be all like, that's too expensive or just wait, or that's reasonable. Mm -hmm. Oh, 
<laughs> My fingies are so big. Get in there. Okay, sweet. Nope. There you go. There you go. Beautiful. Beautiful. Okay. All right. Make sure these parts are facing the right way and in the right positions. Okay. Okay. Boop. 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 Perfect. Perfect. Beautiful. Beautiful. Lovely. Lovely. Wait a minute. Did I put you in wrong? Is, should that be here? I sure hope so. Yes. Yes, it is. Okay. Okay, good. I looked a little bit ahead of my steps and I was like, is this normal? Okay. We're almost getting there with the with the body, which I'm very proud of. Okay, B2, 3, and 4. Bees! There you are. B2. Looks like a little lightsaber hilt. Have you ever seen um, Pat Labor? Pat Labor? Pat Labor? Or the Tsukimoris? They are cool looking kits as well. I have not. These are all new to me. <laughs> if you have links, feel free. <laughs> I'm going down a rabbit hole of kits, aren't I? I need to watch Pat Labor. Pat Labor. I don't know which way. It looks rad. Wow, they really are, um, they really get you in here. Top tour. Marcaros, Macros is also worth looking into. Okay. I've seen that word before, Macros. In music, though. Ooh. This is cute. I like the colors. I like, um... I like it's clean. It's clean, and I think it's got a lot of, like, potential for custom, like, paint jobs. Do you remember love is a great entry to it? Oh. Used to make a season one of Robotech. Oh. Get in here gonna watch anime take care everyone all right see ya eric hope you have a good one i'm loading your very okay oh okay okay cool Ooh, this is a cool looking like winged kit my gosh this is this is like a commanding lady like this is the one that walks in the office with like her strong shoulder pads like she commands the the boardroom. <laughs> this is a badass kit. <laughs> Keep me updated on the build. We'll do. I have a MG turn A to put together at one point. All right. Yeah. Oh, I don't know. I'm getting ahead of myself. So we've got. B2, okay, B2, B3, okay, turn A Gundam is the one with the mustache for a V fin. Then, where am I at? B2, B3, B4. B4! So what do you all do with your runners when you're done? Do you, like, save them for scraps? Do you throw them away? Is there any other needs for them? For crafts, perhaps? a sex to see okay uh, I will cycle them for custom mods yeah I f yeah it's a good idea it's a good idea all right little tiny hilt downward 
Okay. Okay, so it's going to be facing that way. Very time consuming, but useful to making um unique builds for sure. And that's where I want to like, I want to build up to that. I really want to make like custom builds that is, I don't know, more of my aesthetics. Like it's just going to be a lot of like mustard yellows, blacks, grays. Um, I don't know, a little bit more quirky, a little bit more, um, my kind of art style. So I'm kind of excited to see where that goes. And okay. I throw out most of them and keep a little for mods and then you can melt small clippings down into goo with glue or acetone and use it to fill gaps. It helps put things together. Ooh. Uh, have you tried any panel lining or weathering? Not yet. Not yet. I can't wait till you custom. I know. I can't wait either. <laughs> I'm going to make a chook build. A chook kit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, I definitely, that's why I really like tall geese. I think tall geese is a beautiful, like, base, um, to do chooky builds on it. So, I want to get to know. I want to get to know tall geese a little bit more but gotta work your way up to it you know baby steps baby steps <laughs> you can get you can also get aftermarket decal sets and such it has to be everything chicken related chook blah it's like an a up to an 11 i bought tons of cheap um kits to learn weathering and yeah 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 and i also heard about like like plaw plate if you need to like practice like um what mochi was talking about with uh what do you call it now um with scribing you know you can you can practice on plaw plate so that's a good that's a good idea yep scribing mm -hmm. and if you have a 3d printer you can make your own oh if you have a printer you can make your own water slides um i made the rg tall geese and the mechanisms inside is so cool or a cricket machine a gotcha I also bought a resin conversion kit for one of my kits. Ooh, that sounds very advanced, but also given the budget that you spent on builds uh, last year, I think it's well worth it. If you're gonna go like, you know, crazy on that. To turn the RX-78-2 into the Nether Gundam from G Gundam. Ah! G Gundam, that's the same line with Nobel, yes? I have a 3D printer, um, but they only ever have a few weapons and shields, which is the Gundam that is basically like a windmill. Yes, yes. Okay, so I know about that, and I know about, like, the fish one, and I know about the one that's, like, I think it's called Rose, the one that's the French one, right? Either way. Those look like fun builds. Okay, and then we put you... In here, how does it feel? I feel like that's pretty loose, right? Oh no, you're you're kind of in there. Okay. G Gundam House also has the Tequila Gundam, which is from Neo Mexico. Those are all hilarious. G Gundam rules. G Gundam has the most insane suits, and that's probably the. Is it supposed to be jiggly like that? I don't think so, right? They simply said insert, so. Okay. Okay. I'll accept it for now. I'll accept it for now. Maybe I didn't put this tight enough. Insert rod into slot B. It's fine. It's fine. It's in a place. It's in a place. Okay, so I'm going to check to see if this is correct. I just feel like it's, it is, it is, it is. That's where you belong. 
Okay. Okay. So, with that being done, we've made the body and we've made the head. This is more for chat. What's your favorite Gundam series? Mine is War in the Pocket followed closely by After War Gundam X. Ooh. Okay. I'm gonna have a cookie. Eat your, drink your tea. Drink your tea. On to the arms. Obviously, we're going to make two. <laughs> so let's start at the beginning. A14. Oh, gotcha. It's times two. Which from Mercury is off to a good start. I hope season two is as fire as one was. I hope so. I don't know anything about um, Witch from Mercury, but looking at like kind of the art style that's on the kit box and stuff, it looks really sweet. Okay, so dot U and then B25. Ooh, we're moving on to another runner. Twenty five, twenty five. Are you sure this is a two? Okay, so we're looking at the wrong one. B twenty five. This is why we double check our work and letters. Shook, you should watch it. It's a really great introduction. Okay. I will take a peek. I'll take a peek. B twenty five. Which from Mercury is what made, uh, after realizing that most kids see Gundam as a series for old people, uh, people in their 30s or older, old people. <laughs> oh, are we all feeling our age now? And then 24. Quiet chook. Hey, 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 hey. Um, I am swiftly entering the old population. Um, happily. <laughs> but yeah, like, I'm definitely... It's, it's just funny, because, like, in my circle of friends, I, I was considered the baby. So now that the baby is now considered the old person, can you imagine what everyone else in my circle feel like? So it's kind of just all like, yes, the time, the time is a going. 
the 90s, 80s, gravity hourglass is ticking. All right? <laughs> old person. Look at that old person. <laughs> is Bacon still here? He's old, but he doesn't age. <laughs> That's because he's Bacon. Bacon never ages. Bacon is ageless. Okay. So we've got one piece, and we're going to make it for left and right. So we're going to get this tiny little thing, and I'm going to kind of trim it down. I feel old when my kids talk to me in a language I don't understand. Uh, right there with you. I don't even have kids, and people be saying things, and I'm like, oh, I should probably make a note of what in the world you're trying to say to me. That's why I go to Epo's Discord, and we discuss, like, um, like civilized people about the the new terms that we're just being exposed to, whether we like it or not. Uh, see, you need to tell me this new kid lingo. Yeah, you need to share, Kawaii. okay? We want to be hip. We want to be with it. We don't want to be yuppies. I heard from Papa Chook that yuppie is like, like, it's like a burn to say to anybody uh, in his generation. Like, you don't want to be called a yuppie. I think that's like their term of like a hipster, I think. And I'm sure there's another term for hipsters that's not hipsters anymore. <laughs> the mobile suit is bussin'. That's a new term, too. Bussin'. What in the world does that mean? I assume it's poppin'. Like, lip gloss, right? Just kidding. My lip gloss is poppin'. I forgot that entire song, but I do remember that phrase. The mobile suit is on fleek. We need we don't need to know, but it's provocative. Okay. It's bussin'. It's fussin'. I don't know. It's fussin' for a bussin'. Are they gonna say that? Is that did I make a new term? I did not. Probably not. On fleek. Bye bye goodbye, Felicia. Bye, Felicia. I think, are you 25? Oh. By the way, Mama Duck is watching right now. Hi, Mama Duck. Hello. Hello. For those of you that don't know, I have a Mama Chook, but I also have a Mama Duck. Okay? <laughs> Bustin' comes from Bustin', which references to, oh, okay. Okay. Gotcha. Thank you, Capt. Thank you so much. These kids. These kids and their terms. Okay, so it's this one. It's this one. It's this one. Ooh, okay. Come on, fit in there, banner. All right. Is Urban Dictionary still good for this info? I don't believe so. I feel like if you know, you know, and if you don't, then it outs you as being old. <laughs> That's how they get us now. I mean, that's the premise of, like, these new apps, right? Like, TikTok and Snapchat. I don't even know if Snapchat is even, like, uh, viable anymore, but... Like, they purposely make it time-consuming to learn um, the app so that it kind of, like, makes a, a gap between generations. So, like, people that are working more regularly or, like, they don't have necessarily a lot of free time to understand, like, the, the nuances of this new app, yet younger people have more time. And so it's, like, this is why... I think my generation kind of stick towards like Facebook and like Instagram and maybe TikTok. Maybe. I wouldn't. I've seen what TikTok does with their like timeline and it's just it's a rabbit hole that I I'm not I'm not going to put myself up to. 
my son was wearing a t-shirt with graphic on it and said this is the old people style it's vintage oh no graphic tees are now vintage oh sometimes urban dictionary is still good but sometimes it doesn't have very useful answers <laughs> oh my goodness Honestly, I've been trying to stop speaking as much um, internet needs <laughs> lately because it's just not as generally to myself as it could be. But I told, yeah, 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 yeah. I'm the same way. Like, I still say y'all and like certain like uh, things that I know it's just me and spoken word. Got a question. It's off topic. You can answer it later. It's breakfast time here and someone gave us a box of, box of Eggos. It turned rock hard in microwave and oven toaster. Huh. A box of Eggos. Technically, we use the toaster for Eggos. I don't know about using an oven toaster or a microwave. I've always kind of just put it in like, what are we doing wrong? I'm actually not sure. Chat, can we help Tiny Tower Playa? Um, yeah, so I've done it with a toaster and it works fine. I like how the microwave made it look anemic. <laughs> I mostly use Tumblr and Twitter. I quit Facebook because it was too stressful and anxiety provoking. Mm -hmm. I'm a single man in his 30s who turned a garage into an apartment. My advice, blowtorch Diego. Okay. Okay. Thank you, internet. Thank you, chat. Okay, so Eggos, microwave issue, microwaved it for too long. Toaster oven, same reason. Toasted for less time. Blowtorch. <laughs> Noted. Yeah, I think with Eggos, you're just going to have to, like, trial and error it until you find out the perfect consistency timing for you. But I also like to douse mine with syrup, so it really doesn't matter what my Eggos turn out to be. It's always going to be doused in syrup <laughs> and sugar. So it's it's always going to be delicious for me. <laughs> Fry it on a frying pan and 10 times push-ups. No. 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 I can't even do like one proper like push up with like good form. I, I will admit that. Have you tried the tiramisu egos? I have not. I didn't even know they existed. That sounds divine. I love tiramisu. Okay, so we've got two shoulder pads. Two shoulder pads. Boop, 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 for my for my baby. So let's get the C. The C's. Are you the C? You are the C. Okay. C15. And then I like how it says in parentheses C7. Okay. Is there a reason for parentheses? Let's see. Have I even seen parentheses before then? I don't think so. Okay. We just got the plane I goes. <laughs> Thank you, everybody. Yeah, yeah, no problem. I will just uh I'll I'll just figure it out. So C fifteen. Fifteen. Okay. I'm gonna put you two together, the little shoulder blades, and I'll put you in the separate. C7. Ooh, I see a hand. Okay. I'm excited that you're eating some Eggos, though. Yum, yum. Okay, just out of curiosity. What is this? What does this mean? Take me back. Okay. 
if anyone can explain this to me, because I feel like I might be missing that. That's the that's the thing. So C15 I took out, C7 I did take out, but I noticed that the C7 is in parentheses. Does that mean something? It should mean something. So I will also try to figure this out myself too. So, okay, I get that that's 15. Oh, wait, is this just like the left and the right? You're making two copies. Okay, so that's it. That's exactly it. Okay, okay. They just probably didn't print it like side by side. Because I'm used to, like, these uh, shoulder blades, these shoulder pads, and then they were already, like, side by side. So they only had, okay, okay, so it's, this, okay. Same, same, but different. Gotcha. Gotcha. 14 and 10. 14 and 10. I see. Okay. So, like, this is the 14, and this is 10, and they're, like, I guess the same. Oh, yeah, because they've got, like, the female, they've got the female ports. And then C10. That makes more sense. <laughs> I'm making an arm. I made an arm. Okay, so there's that. I'm not gonna lie, like, my brothers definitely made builds growing up, like, especially when we lived in Japan. I just don't understand why I don't remember it. I feel like, did they, did they, like, make their builds outside of the apartment? Like, did they do secret builds that I wasn't able to, like, snoop in? I feel, I feel, um, I feel gypped. I feel gypped. They're so sneaky, my brothers. <laughs> Quickly, let's make this great Gundam without Shuki knowing. B11. I mean, your brother had all the wing kits displayed in the house. It's true. He had it in our bedroom. And I liked playing with the wings <laughs> when he wasn't watching. So that's probably why I really like, um, I think, I really liked, I really liked this um, model, this kit. I think it's not only because I like the wings, but it was something I really gravitated to when I was growing up with my brothers. Um, this was like the, I think, the really big kit that my brother made, and I've just always been really, like, like starry-eyed about it. <laughs> they built in secret, and now you're building for the world to see? Exactly, because I'm not that kind of person that keeps secret builds. <laughs> Secret build so my sister doesn't know. <laughs> Cause my annoying little sister is gonna gonna yuck it all up. Gonna make it all lame. Whatever. Whatever. Siblings build session would be so cool. It can happen. I mean, both of my siblings are nearby. I, I think I could just buy a, a, a couple of, like, builds for all of us to do, including, um, including Ducky. Let's do a build session. I could bring a Tomcat. 
I could, uh, I could, <laughs> I could suss him out. <laughs> Go on. Yeah, we could do, we could do a build session. I like it. I like to do a build session. And then, and then we can do a, a custom paint session. Like we did with um, our d and I think our d and models. Yeah, I'm not bringing the unicorn though. <laughs> you gotta bring one. You know what? Why don't you bring a perfect grade and we can all help you throw the unicorn in the trash. <laughs> no, <laughs> no, 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 <laughs> no, no. Okay, so. What is this? Oh, okay, so I didn't even make that yet. I didn't make this yet. Okay. Let's get out C13 and 9 before I start assembling things. <laughs> Throw the rest in the trash. The Phoenix can stay. 13 and 9. Okay, so it's the feet, it's the uh, the male ports. I'm not gonna lie, I was like, I was half asleep thinking about gunpla because that's now what I do in my free time, and I thought about the industry, the hobby, the kits in themselves. As far as like, that's pretty genius that there is a company out there that is printing kits that's not even assembled and they are making money to to have you enjoy the build and doing it however you want to do it and i'm like that's pretty smart that they like they supply you like the tools to getting a kit done but it's really up to you to get it done <laughs> You have to get Chuck the SV Nike Unicorn now then. I have no idea what those are. Rapiro, like, um, Giant Gunflow. I've never heard of Rapiro. Do tell. Okay. Okay, so this is one. This is one arm. Okay, I'm assuming, yeah, okay, so this is like, okay, okay. Oh. Yeah, see, like, these little, like, nubby-nubby things? For future, I think we need to, like, um, sand it down, make it look pretty. Nike X Gundam did a collection. Oh, my goodness. I'll have to uh, take a peek. Yes, the Hello Kitty Gundam. Yes, yes. They made the cutest shirts. Okay. We made a forearm, and now we need to add the I'll find out where your openings are. Is it like this? I can't. Can it? No. Okay, so if I'm looking at like this. Okay. And then it's like that. 
Okay, and then you just slide it down. Sweet, sweet, sweet. <laughs> Sometimes when it comes to like, yeah, you gotta like reorient yourself as far as like, how is this? Okay, awesome. So one arm, one arm, kind of arm. We're getting there. Now we gotta do this one. I watched a video of um, Adam Savage from uh, Mythbusters. He made his like perfect grade kit. It was really cool. It was really cool to like see him be amazed at how they produce such a in-depth model and to like really appreciate the mechanics. Walked away for a minute and saw the Nike Gundam shoes mentioned. I have the unicorn ones, but they are beyond um, beat. Wore them daily for two years. Nice. I think... Were those the shoes that were, like, posted in Evos? There was, like, chunky... There was, like, a puffy, chunky, like, platform shoe that had, like, some gunpla, like, um, stuff to it. It looks really cute. Yeah, that was cool. I also uh, like the heights. <laughs> yeah, Adam Savage was super hyped about it. Oh, okay, so this, okay, the ones that you shared, Okabe, um, these ones definitely look like they could be worn. Uh, the ones I saw in, like, Epos, uh, let me see if I can find it. It's all the way up before we started sharing each other's setups, which was great. Thank you all for sharing your setups in Epos. Um, discord <laughs> it was kind of really cool to see how everybody was doing their thing yeah, yeah 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 so let me see let me see if i can just open this and just share this as a link yeah yeah yeah, yeah. these ones these ones like they're super you know like they're they're very not like they're in at least like the style of it very elevator like platform shoes and it's got some insane like 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 decals to it yeah the pink ones cute i would like the white ones the one that i linked out um but i would have nowhere to wear that to to be honest so not getting that Whoever wears those is definitely the main character of Earth. Yes. Yes. I'm more of a support. I'm more of an NPC <laughs> in my life. I wonder if I did it wrong. Did I do it wrong? Okay, so that's going to turn inward. That's turning inward. Okay, okay. I'm going to, I'm making tech wear headphones and, uh, headphones and mask go with the outfit. Oh, that's so cute, Kawaii. Oh my gosh, you'll have to show us, uh, the finished look. Okay, so I made two arms. So let's do the right arm. I don't know which one is the right arm. Can you choose? How do you know? <laughs> How do you know it's the right arm? I think you just either or, right? Okay. So this is number three. That's the whole thing. Just pick one. Okay. B sub fan. B seven. Aha. B seven and B six. Oh, 
oh, what am I doing? I'm skipping steps as far as, okay. We made an arm, we made an arm. I'm gonna put this aside. I'm gonna eat a cookie. I wanna paint a pair of shoes for Gundam, but can never settle on which suit to, to theme them around. Oh, that is tough. Back in high school, I used to paint custom shoes. It was not fun. <laughs> I think it wasn't fun because, like, I was doing people's, like, what they wanted. And most of the time it was things that I just didn't find interesting. The struggles. The struggles of an artist. Sorry. Yeah, that's the downside to artistry. It's like, you're talented, but you also need to pay bills. So you have to, like, do commissions for people that actually have money. And you're kind of at, you know, you, you have to compromise and do things that you might not have found interesting. But that's okay. <laughs> that's okay. Okay. Little break time is done. Okay. So I have number three. I have B6 and I have B7. Okay. I like how they have different hole sizes. So like, for example, in a B7, that's how you can really tell like what's the top and what's the bottom. Um, Cause you can easily be like, well, what way is it supposed to be? And sometimes you're gonna find secret hair, little secret hair in there. You could, you could, you could put some secret dog hair in here <laughs> if you wanted to. To make it extra special? Mm-hmm. Secret dog hair. <laughs> cool, 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 cool. Look at this. Ooh, things are getting... Okay, let's start with diamond step number one. Let's get C12 and C11. I don't know about y'all, but do you ever like go a little bit further into the instructions and get a little bit overwhelmed to see like all of the little parts and you're kind of like, I'm not going to lie. I got a little bit of like that with the, uh, the right arm. The right arm has a lot of, a lot of things going on right now. And I'm like, okay, let's just take it one step at a time. We're going to get C11. Mm-hmm. Cool. And then C12. Cool. And then step one is to connect C12 with C11. Boop. Great, great. And then we just jam this into this. Okay jammed it has been jammed kind of not really hmm. is this supposed to snap maybe not yet it's in it but i wouldn't say it's like maybe it is supposed to snap nope okay It should snap though, huh? I think so. There you go. There you go. There you go.
I don't know why, but this looks, I was expecting this, um, this plastic to be rather hard. Um, but it's really nice when, like, trimming. All right, and then the next step is A27. Let's go find A27. You are the B. B stays here. You are A. You are A2. So what do you mean by A? A227. I wish this artist made more songs. I think they only made like two. Okay, so I need, I need this arm. Okay, so now they want this to go in here. And then let's make a hand. B10, B10. B10. Nice arm. Thank you. A workout. There you go. So that's B10 and then C16. A whole fist. Alrighty, so there's a fist, and we're gonna do it like that. Okay, and then we just shove it in here. Can do. Look at you! Woo! We're coming together. Let's see, we've got a beautiful torso and a right arm. So when they say right arm, I'm assuming it's if you are the Gundam. Like, this is your right arm, not when I'm staring at you. So, like, that makes sense, right? Go quicker. Then yes, it's the right arm of the Gundam itself. 
So it looks like it's left for us, but it's right. This is cookie number four that you know of. So, what was everybody's first Gundam? Like, their first kit that they've built? I'm curious. A twenty six. A one. A two twenty six. I am just learning. I am just today learning that Gundam building is a thing you do, and that Gundams aren't exclusively something you watch on anime or play in video games. Yeah, my first kit was an early two uh, thousands pre MG Death Scythe. Uh, Deckies was an HG Gundam Airmaster, I think? I'm not sure, but the Dragon Gundam I've been kit bashing was one of the first. Nice. Yeah. B5. I'm skipping, so. Actually, I'm not. Find, yeah, no, I know. Find B5 first. Mine was Aegis. Aegis? My bestie got me into Gunpla, and he took me to the hobby shop, and I picked out a pink kit because my goal is to build all the pink kits. Now I just paint everything pink. Yes. Yes. Then in 2007, I got an older HG High Gog. Ooh. B5. Yeah, sorry that I don't have my pet cam. This is actually my pet cam, so it would defeat the purpose of a build stream if I just had this fully on my dog. But also, he probably would eat some of these pieces, so it's good to keep me a little bit separated from that crazy boy. All right, B5. Okay, in. And then I need to get A26 in first, A226. And then we gotta put this in first. Upwards, slide it. Okay, and then Slide it in first, and then we're going to get A15. Okay. 
to make it look all the more fancier. You know, it should have been natural that I was going to get into building um, Gunpla because, like, I love jigsaw puzzles. Like, it's, oh, well, it's a totally different form of, like, building something and, like, kind of finding that piece that fits in to make a hole. But I don't know. It's just things like that where you kind of get in the zone. Um, I'm kind of asking myself, where I'm like, well, why did it take me this long for me to realize, like, this is something I would enjoy doing. <laughs> I'm just now finding out. Snap. Beautiful. Okay, so that's like that. First things first, let's get our C5 and C6 together. Once again, it's a snap. <laughs> Sometimes you need to give it some force. Some oops, some oops. Okay, we're in. We are in. Okay. C8 and 9. Hi, Silent. Hope you're doing well. So this is where things get a little <laughs> weird. Um, I have the hand. Did I use... Oh, it's B9. Okay, I was like, I've already used C9. It's B9. B9. this one. Okay. Awesome. I'm going to consider this normal, the, the jiggliness of this, 
but we'll find out. We good now? I think we're good. I think we're good, Ifo. Um, for now. <laughs> I hope so. We'll see. I'm what I'm like like a hawk. I am watching um my other tab just to make sure like what's on the streaming end is looking solid. It's looking okay. It's looking good. Um Yeah. So that was that was a scary bumpy ride for all of us. Thanks for hanging in there. Um I figure that's exactly what every first build should be. A little bit of scares, a little bit of bumps, you know. Yeah. Yeah, so that's the thing, duck, ducky. Um from what I remember, our upload speed used to be up in the tens, and then the one I shared you, we were at like one. And that's why I was like, that's not how we usually have our upload speed. I don't know. I might have to talk to uh all that stuff. How goes EG New Gundam? Hello, David. Uh it's going good. I'm loving it. As my first build and first um like gunpla, it's going good. We've got left arm. And we've got right arm and then we've got head so far so we're going good we're going really good I think note to self I think I might move the lamp over to my right side again um, once again it's another one of those like I'm lefty and I'm making a sh Do you like how my setup is, y'all? It's good, right? <laughs> I am made of mainly extension cords. Okay. Yes. Yes, so I'm not making so much of like a, a shadow with my left side. Yes. Yes. Excellent. Good. Yes. Well. Okay, so left arm is donezo, and if we wanted to, we could put some of these together now, so let's do it. Head is now going to be engaged. Ooh, head has been engaged. Boop, 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 boop. Look at that. Give you a warm cast. Yes. Dang. Mm, oh, mama. <laughs> hey, Steph. Yes. Look at those power shoulder pads. The confidence I want. So much progress already. I know. I really, um, you know, I really like this, this, this kit. Um, it's, it's, a, <laughs> it really, uh, it calms my fears on other future kits that I will be doing. It's, it's, it's really good. I love the size of it. It's not too small. I am a little, I'm still a little meh. Like, I'm not too sure about this left hand. It seems a little, like, wonky. Like, maybe it's me that didn't, like, really jam it in place. This model is bigger than the other EGs. It's it's really cool. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, shoot. <laughs> I'm trying to make him to do... Let's see, what can I do with this arm? It's a bummer that the uh, beam saber on the left arm is just for... Yeah, this one. Hehehehe. <laughs> Just for a show, just for a show. Okay, so Mr. Torso is gonna hang out over here. Oh God, I'm going to do that to you a lot, aren't I? 
I am not very gentle with my toys. <laughs> Chica's always disarming, yeah. That beam saber fully works, just missing the beam effect. Yeah. If the ball joint feels loose, you can apply a little bit of nail polish to make it tight. Ooh, good. Good tip. I'll be sure to have to do that with this one. Okay. So, on to the waist. So we need A112. The one behind the left forearm is just for display. Oh, this one? This one? Um, where was I? A112. Okay. I think... Are we back? Are we good? Okay. Wish me luck. Wish me luck. <laughs> okay. So, this is what we've got. Like I said, my left wrist is a little looser than my right wrist. Interesting. What the heck am I listening to? Oof. It's a little too, uh, it's a little too on for me right now. What does this button do? What does the loose button do? We were gonna do the the waist. So A one twelve. A one twelve. Hey Steph. Yes. So I did a lot of like looking around. Hi Oni. Hi, you're here. Oh my goodness. You know what? This is a blessing in disguise. So I had internet issues around dinner time and I think that's going to be like a new like thing about living with my parents is that between 5 to 7 p.m. here, uh, internet will always be not the best. I just think it's a busy time for everybody. And so I think once 7 o'clock rolls in, I can come back and stream. So we're just figuring this out, you know, trial and error. So hi, Oni. Um, this is what my first build is looking like right now. We're doing the entry grade new Gundam and we're getting ready to do the waist. Um, this is what I got done before internet issues. So I am happy to be back. Um, yeah, looking clean. I know. I am. Ooh, <laughs> I'm so rough handed with my models. I can tell I'm going to like pop some of these pretty. Yeah, look at these. Look at these hands. <laughs> so nice. This is my baby. My baby. So we're going to put baby in the hot tub. <laughs> um, And then we're going to go take out... A one twelve, <laughs> but yeah, I'm kind of glad that we took a little bit of a break. I got some food because I was getting a little hangry that I had to stop building, and then um, I got to save some of the pieces for building for Oni to come. So I'm pretty pleased that this all worked out in this way. And then A two twenty two. Um, yeah, I had like a really quick dinner with my partner, and then kind of sent him off 
I like told him about all that's been going on and I was like, I need to finish this build. I need to. And he's like, fine. Um, enjoy your build. <laughs> hey, Yipo, we're back. Um, hello. The build is going great. I am having such a fun time uh, building this that once the internet hit, I was so tempted, like, I really wanted to continue, but I really want to continue with all of you. Um, but really, this is just for me, honestly. <laughs> but I'm really happy to have you all back. Uh, I fell asleep in the middle of your stream, Epo. Yeah, I totally took a nap in Epo's stream. It is such a wonderful place to come and uh, hang out, chill, and then uh, pass out sometimes. <laughs> The net needs punishment. I know. So this Thursday, I'm going to go and see if my internet provider needs to get a new modem. Um, maybe I need to upgrade a couple of stuff in our plan. But honestly, I think maybe it's just a known fact that between 5 to 7 p.m. where my neighborhood's at, maybe this is just not the greatest time to be streaming. And that's okay. We'll just work around it. Yes, I think my voice uh, does that to people. Yeah, your voice is like... I was about to say things, and I stopped myself. Your voice is just super soothing, Epo. Ooh, never knew you can push out the parts um, on an EG. Yeah, I can definitely... Boop, boop. La, 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 la. <laughs> So we're making the waist. We're going to do A112, A22, so we're going to we're going to make them meet. Nope, we're going to have it like that. Oh, okay, to like meet up in there, yeah. Well, there you go. They like they they meet. They kiss. Heart. Cute. Okay, so A113. It's super satisfying fishing the parts out, yeah. A113. Ah, yeah, this is the one where, like, you just wiggle, wiggle. You don't get to use your nippers. You could, but, you know, this is for, this is for babies. This is for babies. 813. B fifteen. But I try um and cut them out, yeah. Hi Ori, I'm back. Welcome back. What was I looking at? I'm looking at B sixteen. Yeah, I'm glad to have some of the the late people back. Um, typically, I think if my internet didn't poop out, I would have been done with this uh, build a lot sooner. Um, but this is where we're at. Hello. Hi. Going to go into your fake hot tub. So... A113 looks like this guy. And we're going to put you into here. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. And then. Hmm. The heck is this then? What did I take out? B17? Did I accidentally take out somebody that I shouldn't have? I might have. Who are you? Oh, okay. So you might be B16, so you're here, but I'm supposed to go to B15. Look at me. I am so frazzled. I picked out the wrong part. You built a keyboard off stream? Ooh. Secret, secret stream. Secret key making. Did you use your chiffons? Okay. 
No, I'm actually saving those for something now. I don't know, but something special. Okay. Gotcha. What'd you all have for dinner? I had a better with cheddar bratwurst. Bratwurst. It was yum yum. B17. I knew that was going to come out soon. Okay. Um, who are you? What is this piece? This piece is B20. Okay. So noted that B20 has already been dislodged. And that's okay. Oh, oops. I think I put you too soon. Oh no. Once they're on, I swear to God, I think it's like so tough to, okay, which is good. It's good that they have that kind of like, that doesn't fit, does it? Okay, so maybe... I'm getting ahead of myself then, huh? I see. Okay, so you belong in the front, not the... There you go. Boop, boop. I'm so scared I'm gonna break you. Okay, I think you're fine. I think you're fine. I think you're fine. How does that even work? Okay, so then this must be flush. So this must be lowered. I have to like really jam it in there. I'm so scared I'm going to break you. I feel like this needs to be deeper. Or just call them battle damage if you actually break them. I know, that's like my worst. Uh... Okay, I think that's clicked. That clicked. Because this has to slide in. Okay. Gotcha. Okay. I don't think I need you, actually, this lamp. So, waste is done. Oh, look at you. You got a waist. Hello. You got a little skirt. <laughs> okay. Now we're going to go into legs and we're going to do it two times. So, B27. Ta-da! One, two, B27. 
I'm gonna put you with your waist. One, two. <laughs> oh yeah, Chukbot's the best. C twenty five and twenty. C twenty five, right? C twenty five, and then C twenty. Okay, so let's do those pieces. First, let's do that assembly. You're back, hey okay, broken. Yes, I'm back. We're finding out that um, five to seven p.m. at my place is not the time to be streaming. I guess. But we are determined. We are going to finish this first build. All right? We are determined. Okay, so we put them together. And now we need to get A30? A232. A232. Mm -hmm. The big old booties. We got to get the big old booties out. One. I like that he's sitting in a little bowl. Yeah, he's in his hot tub. He's pretty stoked about it. All right, and then we just jam these into his little booties. Yes, 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 yes. Look at you, little hot tub. Yeah, I like to treat my uh, gun paw very well, very lavishly. Hope he doesn't rust. No, he'll be fine. He'll be fine. Okay, so we've got two feeties, and then we want A225. Little tips. A gun pla a spa. Yes. Yes, yes. That's fun to say. Gunpla Spa. Welcome to the Gunpla Spa. Gunpla Spa. Gunpla Spa. There you go. Snap for extra added detail. Awesome, awesome. So we've got one foot, two foot. Now, C30, C18, C30, C18. Gun spa. It's where you get all of your, like, really old gunpla and we like renew them we buff out all of their weathering and their nicks and we buff it all out it'll buff out that's usually what we always say <coughs> all right Boop, 
We got an ankle. We've got an ankle. Boop. Snap. Pop. Crackle. Okay. B23. B22. Satisfying so click. The click. Yeah. Um, I intend on buying like a better mic for ASMR shit. I'm just kidding. I think I just want to not use my webcam as a mic. So um, I'll probably hook it up and you, you can really have that. You can really hear that click coming when I make other models. So we're at C. This is not even a C. I don't know what else. B23. I was like, why am I looking at this? B23. But, you know, uh, thank you to those that hung out with me while I was trying to get... I was just trying to tame the internet and um if any of you understand streaming with the uh, internet i mean you have to stream with the internet um it's a it's an unforgiving beast that you cannot tame sometimes and you kind of just have to like sigh and be like okay i guess i'll just take a break and we'll come back and and that's what happened but we're back and i'm very grateful that everybody stayed with me during that that struggle. It's been a long time since I've had to deal with uh, internet issues, to be honest. So I felt a little bit like I was back in high school, where I was just like, oh my god, I don't understand why I'm having internet issues. I always pick a plan where it's just like, this is going to be fine. My setup is so scuffed. I don't know how my setup doesn't explode when I hit start stream. <laughs> Would have been here earlier, but I woke up late. That's okay, Oni. You came at the right time. I mean, if you had gone earlier, you would have seen me just like, you know, um, just, I was lagging. I was bleep. I was just blipping from one place to another. It was great. And I don't know, Ori, I think your setup looks pretty sweet compared to, like, some of ours, like, <laughs> Epo's and mine. Like, everything is held up with painter's tape, and Epo's is, like, stuck in a corner. Like, Epo's setup is very much like how I functioned in my, like, when my desk was literally, like, three feet wide. <laughs> I had to sp I had to expand. I had to like go at least like five feet or something. <laughs> I get demoralized when I disconnect and see my stream time drop to zero. Yeah, yeah. It's a struggle, but I like to think of it as character building. <laughs> I don't think I put it in the right way, and I just jammed it in there. Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, God. What'd you do? There you go. I'm messy, but it's an organized mess. I get it. I have, like, this is why I have a lot of bowls around me. I have, um, like, a lot of these things where I just, um, I put things in buckets. So this is, like, my, my pens and my Sharpies. I have another one that has, like, X-Acto knives and white eraser pens. Like, whiteboard pens. So I also do that with my makeup where like there's a big old bowl that's just for brushes and there's one for like lipstick. I am a modular person. So that's uh that is who I am. Let's 
C27. You know what I should have done? I should have at least gotten all of these out before I started. Um, I got too ahead of myself. I got excited. 2722. And then twenty four, twenty one. Okay. Twenty. Okay, this guy goes up in here. Click. So that's one kind of calf, I think. My desk is a huge mess as well, but I just push everything when it's time for gum stream. Yes. Yes, yes, yes. There you go. Snap, snap. Snap, snap. Making sure, okay. How are you liking the build, by the way? I'm loving it. Um, I loved it so much that I got like super like upset <laughs> that I couldn't finish this in one like stream like sitting. It's fine. I will, I will bring all of the streams that I've done today and then just have it seamlessly into one VOD, but, um, yeah, it's, it's super fun. I, this instruction manual and the, like, it's such a great introductory course of figuring out like the runners and like how you want to like attack the building of it. Um, you get to learn more about like the, the symbolism of certain like builds, like what's the parentheses, what's the diamond number meaning, the sequencing. It's really cool. <laughs> also, I just noticed the ba the boxes in the background. Oh yes, my little backlog. <laughs> you may end up with desk inception. There were emergency cookies too. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So before the second stream, every time I finished a section, I would eat a cookie. Um, but now we've gone ham and we're just drinking a shit ton of Coke. So this is where we're at now. It's, it's, it's after hours and I'm drinking Coke. Nothing good can happen now. Caffeinated Chook is here. Okay. So... We just got done with the legs in general. Um, now let's do the the right leg. Okay, so C twenty eight. And then 29. Yeah, I hope everybody's Monday has been good so far. Some people are already into Tuesday, so hopefully that's starting out good. Okay, so... Emergency cookies! Yes. Okay, so we made a little jetpack thingy. A224. I 
feels sometimes like this is like bingo. A two twenty four. Does anyone have a two twenty four? Here we are. A two twenty four. B21. Ooh, we got a honking, a honking huge calf. We're coming in. Oh, I've been staring at these since the first time we built. Like, the first time I unleashed it, I was like, this. This. Can't wait. Can't wait to sink my teeth into this one. <laughs> this is going to be me when I uh, start building, like, the aerial from... I forget. F forgive me. I might say it wrong. It's like the the Witch of Mercury or something. That that series. They've got a bootylicious aerial that I want. There you go. Kissy poo, kissy poo. Hey, Esrad. Yes, we're building. We're doing the entry grade of New Gundam. And this is what we've got so far. We've got the head, the arms, the torso, and the waist. So, Mwah. look at this cutie patootie. Cutie patootie. Come on. Focus. Focus. Too bad. So he's going to stay at the hot tub with his waist and uh, love me some Gundam. Heck yeah. So we're building on some tough calves. We're making the big old calves. We just need to find the right orientation. Like so. Okay, A228, A2, 28, and then 30, okay, A228, A230. Okay, so if I was looking at it like this, the one with this one, this one goes. Cool, I like it. I like how it kind of wraps around like that. <laughs> I can't wait to show this to, <laughs> to Mama Chook. I'm gonna be that weird child that just like I'm gonna build this and I'm going to legit like throw this into my mom's face and be all like look what I made mama <laughs> look at this isn't this cool <laughs> that's fine honey what else did you do today that's it this is what I've done this is what I've done today mama mama We've got some va va voom legs. Hey. Hey, hey. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Wowie, wow, wow. Okay. What was this? Oh, man. I'm getting ahead of myself. Oh, oh. Okay. 
Boom. <laughs> like me now, mama? Wow, wow, wow. Oh, shoot. I'm, I'm so rough with my, uh, my builds, I think. Wow, wow, wee wow. Wow. Remember that scene in, like, Nightmare Before Christmas when the Sandman, Boogeyman, was, like, holding... <laughs> Um, you know, Sally's leg. <laughs> and he really thought he was going to get more out of that leg, and then it just came a leg. <laughs> yes. This scene. This scene. Oh, you're just gonna, you're gonna be so pretty. How rude. Poor Gundam tricked by you pulling its leg. <laughs> oh, broke it. <laughs> Go to the corner. We're gonna have so many Gundam, like, puns because of broken. Alright, now we gotta rinse and repeat. Okay. C28... Did I already take it? Oh god. No. Okay. Wait, wait, wait. We're still on the right leg. We're not on the left leg. Calm down. Calm down. I'm getting ahead of myself again. As I do. Okay, so... I did everything that was natural, yes. Okay, so now they're gonna be like, first, move it erect like this. Because you're going to get step two, C26. You're going to get C26, and then you're going to lock that leg in. Oh, yeah, look at that. Look at that. Look at the detail of that. Ooh, ooh. <laughs> look at it it's so beautiful it's gonna go on its tippy legs tippy toe okay 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 b26 we're not even finished with it calm down chook b26 I can't believe you're going to hide all of those details. What the heck's wrong with you? No way. The legs are always on the build and seeing how the knee works. Exactly. But, like, can you believe we're hiding, like, this detail? I can't even take it out. Wow. Some of them are, really, really like, they, they fit. But, like, you're hiding this. Okay. You know what I mean, though. Like this part. They're hiding this. What a shame. It's like wearing Mary Janes. Pointed Mary Janes. Wow. Mary Janes that are also pointed. Yeah, that happens. That happens a lot. Covering up details. No wonder, like, Kawaii likes the clear builds. The clear kits. The clear skins. But you'll know it's there. It's like a little secret. It's like a it's like a hidden tattoo only that you know about because you're just all like hey. Okay. We're on to where are we on to? Ooh, we're getting into color mode. We're getting into color mode. Ooh. Wait, give me a second. I wanna I wanna see what else is in here. They were doing some learn, make, and play with Gundam to its limits. What do you mean to its limits? Is there a limit? Ooh, look at these.
Fin funnels. Oh, so that's the saber. What is gunpla? A general term for plastic model kits featuring model mobile suits from the Mobile Suit Gundam series. Gunpla was born in 1980 and has since kept evolving so that anyone can easily make cool mobile suits. Awesome. This Gundam can't win an argument with you. Poor Gundam. Doesn't have a leg to stand on. Shush. Oh man. It's gonna be... It's gonna be a long yet short stream. Okay, left leg, here we go. C17. 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 And then C19. Okay. And then A. Two twenty four. I feel like when I'm done with this build, I'm going to be like, how am I going to go to sleep? I'm going to be way too excited about this. Okay, and then B21, we're going to put it in a calf. Then A231 and 229. Hey, Mama Callie, how are you? 2931. How have you been? I'm doing well. I uh, got a new setup here and moved in with Mama and Papa too to save up some money but you know also because I miss them so it's good yeah it's been crazy since we moved yeah I, I, I know that you are out of state now you're you're up north how's the weather up there <laughs> congrats on the move thank you it's a big move for sure it's a big definite change um having lived uh, with my partner, just us two, for four years, and then having to come back to parents. It's, a, it's a definitely an adjustment, but a necessary one. <laughs> well, yeah, Oregon, it's snowy, but I love it. Oh, I'm so glad. How's George? How's George <laughs> uh, uh, assimilating to that? George is the cat, for those of you that are confused or curious.
George got rehomed. He kept attacking Oreo and started attacking me more. We found him a good place. So, oh, I'm so glad to hear that about um, George finding a, a better a better fit for his personality. I get it. I totally get it. Um, certain do a certain animal, certain personalities. It's just best to uh, figure out that they are a, a solo kind of uh, animal, or you know, they just that's how they thrive. I totally get it. I think he will do great. Um, in a no other pet home. Exactly. Totally. Um, I'm kind of figuring that out with Archer. Archer is really good with, cause he's a COVID dog and also, you know, he's the only child. And so right now I'm with my parents and they have two Scotties and they're kind of lower energy. So Archer, even being four or three years old, he still has a lot for them. And he's wild, you know, he really likes to show his energy, so he bounces and he, you know, he's just a really happy, happy boy. And he's he's vocal, so he's a lot. He's a lot in this household. Um, not that we're going to rehome him, but I totally understand, like, that clash of different personalities that currently we're just kind of, like, we're baby-gating all dogs to like stay in one side of the house and then archers on one side of the house right now and it, it's working for now um but for long term i think this will make me go insane but like i said this is just a temporary place to save up money and um it's just we're making do yeah we love him and know that he'll do great yeah i'm glad to hear that Alrighty. You still need some finishing touches. Okay. C23. C23. I was going to ask about him. Yeah, he should hopefully get used to it soon, but I hope he adopts. Yeah, same. Um, yeah, he's doing well. Uh, right now, um, my partner is watching him because I'm working with a lot of small parts. I don't really want Archer to be around and, like, eating, <laughs> eating my parts. Plus, this is technically like the the pet cam, and so you wouldn't even be able to get to see Archer. But when I do art streams, I'll probably have this camera um, facing Archer. Oh wow, Professor has been spotted. I'm back. The internet gods are smiling down on me for now. For now. They have decided to torment another poor um, user. So if they've left me, he's the goodest boy besides trying to eat some cross stitching things. Yeah. Yeah. He just loves the smell of you, Mama Callie. He loves the smell of your house. See, I can't believe I'm going to cover this up. There's like, yeah, there's like this thing that's going to cover up this cool little detail with all like the ribbing. And then boom, secret, secret thrusters. Okay, if that's what you want. So I've seen Gundam stuff before, um, but what are you building? So, yes, I am building a Gundam. And this particular model is an entry grade new Gundam. And so from what I hear and from what I'm experiencing with entry grade, since there are different types of grade, like difficulty, not difficulty level, but basically like intricacy of a model with entry grade, I think the parts are a lot bigger. Um, there are no tools, no glue, no paint required. So this is definitely um, something for me to get into Gundam building. Um, because I don't have any tools right now. I literally, um, I have an exacto knife and some, uh, toenail clippers to file things. But for the most part, everything is pretty much, you pop them off these runners and then you follow this pretty easy visual, like, you know, Ikea, um, definitely more in depth than Ikea, but like little step by steps to show you like how you can finish ending up making a head and it's really cool. 
we're getting close to the end of it, which is really exciting. This is like my first build and also my first like Gundam streaming stream. So pretty psyched. This is like uncharted territory for Chook. So I am spreading my creative wings. <laughs> And the community has been so nice. So very nice. Your hands are finally calibrated to are finally cal yeah, exactly. I have trained my fingers for building. All right. I took a year of massage therapy. I've painted. I've learned to play on the uke. I've played a little bit on the kalimba. I did not touch the keyboard or a piano. I think I'm ready to make Gundam. <laughs> I think I'm ready. <laughs> you have studied well. My hands have definitely studied well. Okay, so this is... This is... Wait, did somebody say keyboard? Oh, I meant like the um, electric, you know, like musical keyboard, you know? She stabbed needles. Yeah, exactly. I also did needle felting. So, you know, I know all about pressure. <laughs> yes. All right. So we've made leg, leg. Okay. So how do I know which one's my left and which one's my right, to be honest? How do I know what's my left leg and my right leg? I don't. Do I not? Do I do? Is there a difference? Um... <laughs> I don't think so, right? Stabbing things helps out. out. Yeah, um, it definitely was therapeutic in such a good way. All right, let's get the waist, and then let's uh, let's insert. Oh, okay, I see. I know what's what because the hole is actually bigger for the joint than the outside. What if there are two left feet in the box? The gunpla will be a terrible dancer. Oh, I don't know, Broken. Generally, they are the same, though. Look at this leg. Oh, God, this is awkward. This is awkward. This is awkward. <laughs> Did I make... Did I? Okay, I can fix this, right? I can fix this, right? <laughs> okay, okay, I can fix this, right? I can fix this, right? I can fix this, right? Right. <laughs> that okay, 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 okay. You got this. I got this. Boom. I just changed out the joint, okay? I just did like some some general hospital uh, surgery, and I just <laughs> I just cracked that into shape. Just make them a pimp with a limp. <laughs> you could put them on facing backwards. I could. I could. Look at these little legs. Ha cha 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 cha. Ha cha 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 cha. Look at these legs. I'm so shy. Legs. Okay. Yeah. Let's do it like that. I'm so shy. <laughs> oh, I need to go to the bathroom. <laughs> oh man, I love, I already love posing them. It's over. I, I don't even want to put this on yet. I kind of want to see if I have any other thing that I could put on it. Like... Oh, I don't have my jar of of Wawa bears. <laughs> I don't have my Wawa bears, so like, mech oh my gosh! Imagine if I can get my Wawa bears and like put them on mech legs. <laughs> They'd be the best water bears ever. Okay, okay, we're done. We're done. We're getting really carried away. Okay, so. A23 and B20. Okay. A23. A223. A223. 
223. We'll do it one at a time. And then I know I accidentally dislodged B20 beforehand. Because I'm naughty. Um, okay. Cool, cool. You're like, I don't really want to uh, focus on that. Okay, fine. Ooh, you're so bright. Okay, and then you shove this on the side, side skirt action. Boop. And then you do that all over again. A223. And then B20. And I think that's the last part of this runner. I think I cleared my first runner. <laughs> I think this is it. Wow. I cleared my first runner, y'all. Okay. Now I get to play around with this guy for a second. <laughs> Look at me. Look at all this power with these nippers. Actually, it doesn't matter if I'm left-handed or right-handed. Ugh. A runner walkthrough on a marathon stream. It's not as clean as God hands. I mean, that's not bad. I mean, it is kind of like it leaves like a little bit of a chip. Doesn't matter. Come plus freedom. <laughs> Ain't that the truth? Okay. And then we're going to put this on the side skirt. Whoop. I kind of like that. That's cool. I'm just kidding. I need my light. I'm blind. I'm a blind bat. I can't look at the instructions in this lighting. I'm, I'm feeling my age when it comes to like my eyeballs. And it's best not to do these things in the dark, in the dimness. All right. It's ready for me to assemble. <gasps> dun 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 Oh gosh, I'm so scared that I'm going to like Oh my god, I'm okay, 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 sweet, sweet. He did it. He did it. There you go. That's a good pose. Yeah. That's great. You 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 do that. Oh yeah. Okay. Whoa, that bend though, right? <laughs> I have to get a stand for you, huh? I don't have putty on me to like just stabilize you need at least four more of these for a boy club man right sorry let me make some makeshift weights for it boom 
I can imagine the poses that chick will make in the future. Yeah. Da da. <laughs> Whoa. Look at you. You're so excited. Okay. Let's finish you up. Let's put my janky, my janky webcam on a clamp, on a clamp. I don't think it should be like that, right? It should be like that. Whatever, I'll figure out my like setup eventually, okay, everybody? All right, we're going, we're doing weapons. It goes like this, yeah? It's like something like that. Boop. Sweet. That'll work. That'll do. That'll do, pig. Um, A235. And 34. But yes, I am definitely going to do a lot of poses, a lot of stupid poses on my gunpla. And it's going to be great. It's going to be freedom. It's going to be so expressive. It's going to be a time of rebellion. Wait, what is that? Oh, it's compatible for a connector. I was all like, what are they going to do to his PP? I guess that's your base. I guess that's, I guess that's, uh, I guess that's where you're going <laughs> to, that's where you connect it. I, I guess so. And here I thought, Cabbage Patch Kids were pretty progressive with their belly buttons. They may want to rethink that. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I'm sure the internet has found many other uses for that hole <laughs> with customs. I bet you I'm putting this on wrong. Oh, I'm sure. The internet is a vast and scary place. Okay. A2, 33. And then with that, I think I'm almost I think I need to use one more and then this runner is also cleared Snap, snap. <laughs> I don't do rapid fire as well as my brothers. <laughs> They're a lot better at doing sound effects than I was when we played. Okay, and then this goes in your right hand. Okay. Weak, you're right handed. Come on. Weak. <laughs> okay, and then the shield. 
A121. I've been dying to get this out. E121. And then C1. 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 This looks like a key. A key, a key. You're almost done, I know. I'm savoring it. I'm savoring it. <laughs> and you know what? I know there are stickers, but I'm gonna actually hold off on the stickers to see if maybe I wanna do something totally custom just to test out like paints, um all the all the things, you know? Yeah, we're almost done. Okay. We're going to do a fun pose, right? Eventually. Okay. So C2. Okay, C2 goes, let me see your forearm. You know, that's a cool kind of unnecessary like detail, like I feel like they didn't really need to do this kind of, like, that detail for it to be attached to this forearm, to be honest. And I think that's really cool. And an arm falls off. <laughs> Am I just not that... Well, I'm sure you're not supposed to be manhandling things the way that I am, you know? Uh... I have about the sensitivity of moving things probably of like a five-year-old, maybe, maybe. <laughs> the more unnecessary, the better. I think, huh? I think we're done. I need to double check though, like, okay, so this runner clear. This runner looks good. Empty, empty, empty. I thought this was something. Am I miss? Oh shoot! I think I'm missing something. <laughs> I think I'm missing something, y'all. Where does where does A two twenty seven live? Has this happened to some people? Okay, I'm gonna I'm gonna backtrack. But thank you, A two twenty seven. A227. <laughs> Shh, it's okay, it's okay. It's okay, it's okay, it's okay. <laughs> Where the heck is A227? A224, 29. Might want to check the runner page if the part on it has an X. It might be an extra part. There's a runner page? Oh, like this? It's right here. So I think it belongs to somebody. <laughs> I just skipped it. Or at least one of them. I've skipped one of them. So I'm trying to find... Let's play a game of let's find A227. So we could uh we could break this apart and and put it all back together again. I see a two twenty six. Oh wow. Okay, so a two twenty seven is an arm. Is an arm. Okay, it's left arm. Okay, okay. I'm sure it's the left arm and not the right arm. We're gonna we're gonna go in. This is see. This is probably why its arm is so like it was like you know jiggly. 
this is probably it. Okay, so maybe I don't have to take off all of it. I just need to take off the the the, the cuff. All right, all right. Boom! Done! There you go. A little secret over here. Secrets. Freaking done. The mystery has been solved. Nancy drew it. Woo! Now it's on. Now it's left hand isn't weird and wonky. Oh my goodness. What am I going to pose you as? Do I have any um props for you? Not really. I don't think I do, but let's see. <laughs> yes. I'm so excited. Thanks everybody for hanging with me out there. I'm going to do a victory pose about how I would probably look like if I had if if I had a huge gun and some shields. Oh god, I'm gonna break this right in front of you. I'm sorry. <laughs> Ebo's gonna be like, is this how you play with your dolls? Like your um your 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 figurines? It's pretty rough. And I'm like <laughs> Shh Shh I'm not I'm sorry, I'm not I'm not gentle. <laughs> I'm I'm not If only I had a yes, yes, yes. So how was your first gun club build? Thanks for asking. It was super rewarding, super fun. Um, as you can see, pretty stoked, pretty happy. Um, let's see if I have more dramatic lighting for this. Give it a second. <laughs> ah, never mind. No, I can do it. Just turn off my light. Look at you. You're so epic. No. I need to get better lighting for sure. But yeah. It was fun. It was really fun. Look at you. You're large and in charge. Oh, that was so much fun. That was so rewarding. I can't wait to do another one. Um, So for, I think for the next stream, next like Gunpla stream, I don't know when that Ooh. will be because I still need to figure out why my internet did what it did today. The new is large compared to other kits with the same range. I like that. I, I like this, uh, I like the scale. I like the size of this one, so... I'm kind of worried to see how the smaller ones go. But I didn't have like issues with like the tiny um with the the smaller parts. But yeah, this was super fun. Thank you everybody for hanging with me and getting this 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 my baby. This is my baby. My little baby. I'm going to go put him into like He's gonna be all sleepy. He's gonna be like, oh me? <laughs> My little baby. <laughs> I can't wait for the Chuka Gunpla paint stream. I know, me too. I can't wait to just, I don't know what to do with this fool. Um, but it's gonna be wild. It's gonna be a lot of, well, a lot of <laughs> testing. <laughs> You didn't break anything. I know. I mean, <laughs> you never know. There's always a first. There's always a time. Ah, yeah.
Enjoy the emotes, Oni. Thanks so much for gifting you, Po. Oh my goodness. You're gonna love all of those emote. Those emotes, enjoy them. Um, but yeah, I think. Hmm. For next stream, we've got so what would you what would you recommend, Epo? So we've got like we've got like we've got SDs, we've got um oh <laughs> we've got new Gundam as an SD, so we can make we can make baby version. We can make baby version of of that. Hello, Arizona, hi. Time to go straight to the MGs, yeah, right? We could do wing. We could do the SD of the wing. We could do I'll strike, I'll strike. Um, I don't think I'm ready to do this one yet. I feel like this one might be a little advanced, maybe. Just, I looked at the manual first off and, um, I think I was just really like off put that there was like no English, but then again, I don't think you rely at all on like any sentences when it comes to these manuals. Like if you see the pictures, you kind of get it. Um, I'm not gonna lie, the spinach one looks super fun to do. Like I also have a Reaper type coming in the mail, so I wonder if I want to do both of them together in one stream or maybe like close stream. So maybe I'll save this one, but this one looks super cute. And then <laughs> prepare for thumb pain An SD or the 30. And, okay. You don't, this is an SD anyway, but yeah, like there's the Hello Kitty Gundam one. Yeah. Hey cap. Here it is. Here's my baby. My baby. My baby. <laughs> my baby. <laughs> you did it. I did it. I did it. I finished something. <laughs> I've committed to something and I finished it. And it makes me feel somewhat godly. But then again, I have to also bring myself down and say, this is an entry grade. This required no tools, nothing. And so here I am feeling like I'm on the top of the world when I'm all like, oh, I should probably get like some smaller nippers and maybe some emery boards and like some filers and maybe a sharper X-Acto knife because this has been with me for years and it's not really that, um, it's not that sharp, but... Sharp enough to go through claw plates. That's good. Yeah. Celebrate your victory. Thank you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm going to revel in this. In fact, when I go to work tomorrow and they're going to be like, what'd you do today? I'm like, I made this. I made this. What'd you do? You made a child? Well, I made this. Okay? I'm very proud of myself right now. You can allow yourself to feel top of the world. <laughs> it's good to revel in your accomplishment, no matter how small exactly. <laughs> Look at you. Look at my baby, my entry grade baby. It's just like me when I played like Monster Rancher and I'm just super stoked that my monster didn't even like faint in a tournament. Now, Epo, imagine if this, what, if I turned it into like, so I can't, I, so, you know, Nobel, a Nobel is, is not exactly available for me to purchase, uh, other than it being, um, ghastly overpriced on Amazon. Maybe I'll just turn this into a sailor scout, you know, maybe I'll turn it into a magical girl. How would you like that? Hmm? Do you like that? Yes, you do. You already got your pose down. Wow. You're going to be the best Nobel ever. You're going to be better than Nobel. Nobel's going to want to be you. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I'd love to see it. Yes. If I can't get Nobel, I'm going to turn all of my builds into Nobel builds. <laughs> and then she's going to want to be with me. <laughs> 
But yes, okay, it's getting late. It's getting later on for me. I know it's getting late for all of y'all that are on the East Coast. So thank you so much for hanging out with me, sticking it there with me. Let's go find somebody to raid. Um, before I do decide on raiding, um, I will probably stream probably stream tomorrow and I'll probably I'll, I'll do art I'll do art stream tomorrow so we're gonna finish up the line work for the leafeon mashup art stream so excited to do that and um yeah maybe I'll maybe I'll have some cool pictures of of this guy by tomorrow I'll bring my light box I'll make it official I'll get an actual camera and take pictures of it because I found out that simply taking a picture of this with your mobile phone is for plebs apparently you need to get your DSLR like camera out and like take some really good shots of this so <laughs> maybe I'll do that with my entry grade congrats and have a good reminder of your night thanks so much mama Kelly stay warm and I hope you're continuing to enjoy the Oregon weather. But yeah, let's go, let's go, let's go raid a battle chaser. Battle chaser is apparently, currently, not apparently, currently uh, working on digital art. And I can't pronounce things, but I think he's, he's, I think he's gonna, I think he's drawing a, um, a transformer. You're gonna have to find out for me. Thank you for the stream, little chick. I'm glad I came by to see the finished little guy. Thank you all. Oh my goodness. Thank you all so much for sticking by, hanging out, keeping me company, and keeping my spirits up. I mean, for like, honestly, if I find out more people are interested in getting into building Gunpla, I highly, I, I stand by it now. Um, entry grade is the way to go. Um, it was so easy it was so fun and i even if i had questions like looking back on it like it was just so easy to backtrack and figure out like where you went wrong or what does this symbol mean um this is just such a treat i had so much fun for somebody like i i've never had experience in building um and i was quite intimidated by it and so i'm just really glad to uh have done it and done it with y'all but yeah, I'm excited. I'm looking forward to it. So without further ado, I will start the raid. Uh, that is not the right name. Oh goodness, it's been a day for me. Hopefully this correctly works. Um, that is not a right name. Oh my goodness. Chooky, chooky, chooky. It's been a long time since I have... Okay, sweet. We're on it. We're in it. Here is a raid call. If you do not have my emotes, that is no problem. Have that. Until next time, y'all. Kissy-poo, kissy-poo, kissy-poo. Bok-bok.